Hello YouTube, this is Dynamic Factory Automation. I'm going to start tutorial of uh, Flex Pendant of ABB Robot. Today I'm going to do a simple um, exploration of the functions of Flex Pendant today. Uh, let me open the Robot Studio. And, uh, and this is the Lobo Studio. We study flex pendant function through the uh, Lobo Studio, which is uh, uh, simulation tool for the ABB robot. Now, I'm going to explain the keys and joystick functions. This is the emergency stop button. If you press that, then you can see the message at the top, uh, emergency stop. If you release it, then it will show you waiting for motors on after uh, e-stop. This means once you press e-stop, then you have to reset e-stop button, e-stop status, uh, pressing a motor on button. Now it's gone. This is the enable button on the side of the flex pendant. Uh, normally people call it dead man switch. It has three position. If you press it very hard, then it will drop the power. If you release it, also drop the power. In the middle position, you can, you can hold the uh, server power on. So in the in the plexi uh, in the Lobo Studio, you can I can make it uh, mode to manual. And if you click that, then motor status lamp on. Uh, this is the this is same status you when you press the uh, enable switch properly. This is joystick. Joystick you can have uh, uh, eight direction. You can push the joystick eight uh, eight different directions, and also you can turn the joystick left or right. And even you can uh, push diagonally while it's turning the uh, joystick uh, to the counterclockwise you can have a uh, different combination that means you can control three axes at the same time i will, I will explain that again in the jogging window okay uh then we this is the uh, joystick and this is a programmable key you can you can set digital input and or you can set digital output with with this programmable key and this one is the mechanical unit you can select a mechanical unit this one is the uh, the mode this one you can select reorientation mode or linear mode this one you can select uh, joint one two three axis or four five six axis this one is incremental button so you can you can uh, make the robot uh, by inching you can make the robot moving by inching this one is start start you can you can execute the program following the uh, program pointer but this one forward you can execute one line only one line and stop this one is stop uh, button when you press the start button you can stop the robot by pressing stop button this is backward button also execute only one line to the backward of the program pointer okay uh, menu button then you can see jogging window Jogging window, this is the jogging window. 
uh, if you press that uh, mechanical unit then you will see external axis or other robots in here and you can uh, select it and then you can you can jog it with uh, any selected mechanical unit but we have only one robot so we can't see any other uh, mechanical unit here motion mode motion mode if you pre press that then you can have a uh, joint mode one two three four five six or linear mode and reorientation mode okay uh, this one also can be selected uh, this button like this way so firstly i'm going to explain about the uh, X joint mode joint mode I selected axis 1 2 3 axis 1 I'm gonna jog the robot axis 1 to the plus direction no arrow goes that way that means this one if you push the joystick then it will go to the plus direction and then the opposite side is minus direction okay and also number two this is plus direction axis two this is minus direction or even you can jog two one and two at the same time or the other way and number axis three uh, plus is uh, clockwise minus counterclockwise okay uh, we go to four four to six axis four to six same thing plus minus fifth axis plus minus and sixth axis plus minus okay this is the joint mode uh, moving the axis by joint by joint and uh, uh, we go to uh, linear mode linear mode we select it and then linear mode you, we can see XYZ direction I'm gonna talk about later about the coordination today we use only base coordination we, we just uh, see the base coordination how it works so here if I turn the logo to uh, here okay uh, x-axis plus Robot goes. This is a uh, x plus. This is x minus direction. Linear mode move robot linearly, and y. Uh, y. Y. When it moves, uh, it will keep the orientation of the two okay uh, this is y z uh, this is plus z, z plus z minus okay this is uh, how the uh, the joystick direction works and now we click one more time we select we orientation we orientation is uh, uh, we can turn the it will keep the TCP because tool zero is here uh, tool zero the axis of the tool zero this is a uh, um, x axis this is y this is z axis you can see a uh, robot we already reorient the TCP uh, by axis the tool coordination axis here uh, of tool zero now x axis x plus 
this way. You can see the red axis doesn't move. Always same position. Why? Why? This way. Why? See, look at that. So this one, the green, green axis does move. Z is blue, blue axis. If I turn blue axis, the blue line is staying. The other two axis is turning like this. Okay, this is uh, how we draw the robot. Uh, joint by joint or linear or reorientation. Now, I'm going to talk about joystick lock. Joystick has three different directions. One is plus uh, the horizontal, horizontal, left and right, and vertical, up, down, that's plus minus, horizontal, horizontal also, plus minus, left and right, and then rotation is clockwise or clockwise, counterclockwise. So you can lock the uh, joystick. If you see that, that little uh, icon has been changed with the padlock. So you, even you hold it, it's not going to move because you got joystick locked. So if, if I change it to, uh, if I lock two directions, then this one will also not working. Okay, uh, this is joystick lock. You can set up all of them, or you can none. Sometimes you have to. Robot doesn't move, then you have to check it. Check this joystick lock in manual mode. Incremental, incremental. Uh, you can set up the amount of distance you can. You want to move the robot. Uh, small, medium, large, and user. You can set up one of them, and then uh, you can you can move the robot. I'll show you. Plus X plus. About 0 0.8 millimeter, and uh, small. I'm gonna test small, small, then this is very very small amount of the distance. Only 0 0.01 mil moving. This is very small distance. So that means if you turn the incremental on and select small, and then you move the lobo, you can't see any lobo moving because it's very small. So sometimes lobo doesn't move. You have to check two things: joystick lock and also increment. Increment. Once you set it up here, you want the certain amount of distance. You check that, and then you you can turn turn it on and off with this just one button, like this. This is the incremental button, on and off. You can easily turn turn it on and off by this button. This is a menu button. You press menu button, then you can see many different types of menu. Now we doing jogging window, and then this one. This one is the operator log, so you can uh, programmer can make a message to the operator. They can see the information of the robot, uh, what's doing. They can see here. 
and uh, this one this is all the logs display in this area so you can see selected you can see selected items here or if you press comma then you can see all the logs in the same page and if you want to see detail you click then you can see detail what's happening here why you see this message okay uh, this is the the values of the axis so you can if you select joint then you can see axis one two three four five six uh, if, if you are in linear or reorientation mode then you can see x y z uh, position and rotation okay thank you so much see you next time bye